Now let's take a look at the work plane tool. The work plane tool is located right next to the ruler tool in the top right corner of the screen. The work plane tool is useful for many different things, but it's especially effective when you'd like to put a design on one of your objects. For example, let's say I want to put a star on this pyramid. I can scroll down, find the star shape, but when I drag it out, it's always going to go flat against the default work plane. So in order to get the star on the pyramid, I would have to first raise it and then try and rotate it to be where I'd like it. The work plane tool allows us to do this in a much easier way. The work plane tool allows you to change the default work plane. By clicking, holding, and dragging, I can select any face of an object to be my default work plane. When you've changed the default work plane, the color will change from blue to orange. You can also see that it's at a different angle. So now watch what happens when I try and bring out the star. The star is now moving up and down along this new work plane. So I can let go right in the middle. And now the star is perfectly on the pyramid. To bring your work plane back to the default, drag another work plane out to the open and let go. Now you can see I have a pyramid with the star exactly the way I want it. And that is how you use the work plane tool.